Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to another Grounded walkthrough video where today we're hopping back into the Grounded 1.0 update to bring you guys the location of another one of the new bugs that are in the game. Yes, I am talking the moth. Now, I know of a few different locations where you can go ahead and find this guy, the first one of which is right here at this stump that I'm on, this rotten stump, and here it is. Here is the moth friend. Now, we could go into photo mode and we could check around to see if there's any other ones that are around here but so far as far as I know this is the one location for you to be able to find a moth here in this area yep that's what it looks like so here is our moth friend all in all it's a fairly large enemy in cons in size comparison to your teen and all in all I think that it's an absolutely gorgeous enemy as well you can go ahead and peep this guy in order to see its resistances because it is completely docile to you because it is our last neutral a uh, bug in the yard. It's the moth. It is weak to fresh, spicy, and sour. It is resistant to busting, slashing, and salty. So using anything like a salt morning star or like a coltan or anything like that isn't going to be as powerful as say using some candy arrows or in my case using my good old fresh axe that I have here that I have for mosquitoes. Now this is going to be a pretty good weapon for you to use against it because it is weak to fresh damage and it is also not resistant to chopping damage so some perks that i put on in order to craft to in order to fight this thing i'll just give you guys a quick heads up i have chopper on to help me do a little bit more damage parry master to help me perfect block coup de grass to hopefully give me a bonus crit then also crit damage for trapper peeper for getting a bunch of peeped creatures and shocking dismissal from fighting the assistant manager now going through and fighting this thing it is going to be quite the deadly fight this thing has a bunch of different moves and this is not a great spot to fight a moth i just want to let you guys know this is a terrible spot to fight it but before we go in and we start actually attacking this thing i want to walk you guys through a quick location of where another moth is that is going to be even more difficult to get to than this one because in my opinion you could get to this one pretty easy by just running up the stump the back side of the stump here running up over here and then climbing the side of the stump like i did jumping up on the pieces of the log and finally making your way all the way up here look a toenail anyway uh, the other location, guys, is in Moldark Castle, right here in the middle of the pond. But what I want to point out is that there is no way to actually get here without building. You have to build a some sort of bridge all the way across over to the castle. And then it is all the way at the tippy top on top of that glowing green goo that's up there. If I could make a a uh, recommendation it would probably be to come to this one though because that one is surrounded by mosquitoes and you're probably gonna have to fight a ton of tiger mosquitoes in order to actually be able to fight your moth so let's go through and start fighting this guy and if we can take it down we'll, we'll take it down if not we'll go over over to the armor set and we'll see what the armor set is all about and also what drops and stuff you get from fighting this guy as well so let's get started here shall we <clears throat> so it's got this charge attack that it does so that's one attack. It has a charge attack. It also has like a wing gust attack that it can do. Which I'm trying to avoid having it do. There we go. Perfect blocked it. Oop. Didn't wasn't able to hit it at all that time. Yep, this is one of those blast attacks like the termites have, and this will end up slowing you down. Slowing down attack speed, slowing down movement speed as well. Ouch. And by the way, this thing hurts. When I say this moth hurts, this moth really, really, really hurts. Ouch. It could kill you really, really easily if you don't have smoothies with you. Where'd it go? There it is. And uh, it's got a bunch of... Where's your last attack? Go on, do your last attack on me here. Come on. It doesn't have a ton of health. If you guys have the right stuff, you can actually kill it pretty easy. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have a ton of health, but smoothies are definitely recommended for fighting this thing. Not fiber bandages, because that's just a good way to get yourself killed. Okay, let's load into another game that I have here that has the armor set, and we can talk about the armor set bonuses, shall we? Okay, here I am wearing the cool moth armor set in the game. And this one, guys, I think it looks pretty cool, except for the hat. I'm not a huge fan of the hat. I know some people might be. I'm just not a huge fan of it. That's just my opinion. But all in all, the armor set that goes with it, though, is pretty freaking sweet. 
So first of all, it does have three different pieces, so you do have a set bonus with it. And the set bonus is called Wind Run, and it says, Tap into the gusts of current and currents of the wind, occasionally increasing the amount of movement speed when landing ranged attacks. So this is definitely a ranged armor set for all of you who love ranged um, weapons in this game, whether they're bows, crossbows, or staves. All of those will do more damage and have more perks with this armor set. Okay, so... Other things, each armor piece is going to come with ranged attack bleed, so you'll be able to cause bleed damage to the moth as well. And um, when you go ahead and get it upgraded to sleek, you're going to get ranged attack stamina refund. Attacks with bows and staves have a chance to instantly restore some stamina, making it so you can just keep on running around and shooting things with your bow once you go ahead and get um, this complete armor set and start getting it into the sleek um, the sleek upgrade tree. But what I do want to point out is how many of these things you're going to have to kill in order for you to actually be able to make this armor set. Each moth drops between three and five items every time you kill it. And they have two different drops that you can get. They have the, the standard moth fuzz that it drops, and it has moth scales that it drops as well as a rare drop. So if you think about it, you need three moth fuzz for the hat, for the chest piece, you're going to need um, five more. So now we're at eight fuzz. And then if we go down to the fancy looking legs here, you have another four. So you need 12 moth pieces, 12 moth fuzz in order to kill this. That's going to be around three moths. If you can kill three of them and make yourself a complete set, you're going to be pretty much set up for a really, really good ranged build at that point. But all in all, it's not too bad. The resistances are actually pretty good for this stuff as well. Uh, the defense is up there. Please note that this is all the way upgraded to level nine. That's why that defense is so incredibly high. But the defense is pretty good. Its resistances are kind of crap because it is light armor. But nonetheless, I think Think that it's a pretty powerful armor set for all of our ranged friends that really really enjoy them like i said guys in order to fight moths you're gonna need to go all the way over to moldark castle or all the way on top of the rotten stump but the area that i was showing you guys is definitely going to be an easier area right there in the middle of that circle or pretty much right here that is definitely going to be an easier zone for you guys to get to in order for you to be able to fight a moth now guys remember these are tier three enemies so they are going to be more advanced and more difficult to kill like i said so don't forget your smoothies don't forget some upgraded gear before you go and fight them but guys get out there find these moths take them down and build yourself some new armor sets but thank you guys all so much for watching this one if you guys liked it hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one